and it's definitely dry. So let's go see how it turned out. Hey guys, it's Emily answering some of your questions. And the one of the most popular questions I get across the board is, how do you wash these chunky knit blankets or how do they hold up in the wash? So I have my rainbow baby blanket here that I made the tutorial with and I'm gonna show you my process from start to finish. All right, take a good look. Here's the blanket before. Light soil level, low spin, cold. You can add, you know, fabric softener if you think you need it. I'm not going to start. I'll let you see how it is. Progress. Still looking okay in there. All right, she's done. Pull this out and let's go take it to dry right. outside. Here it is, all washed, delicate wash. Everything's still looking okay. Now the important thing about these blankets is you don't wanna hang them to dry because it will really stretch out your blanket. So I'm gonna lay it flat. Um, it's a beautiful day, so it should dry really fast. I'm gonna lay mine directly in the sun, but um, you might think about avoiding that if you don't want the sun to accidentally bleach out some of your colors. So I'm gonna go lay this in here. So I have my wet blanket laid out on this um, plastic like storage outside storage thing I have it was clean um, I'm gonna make sure the blanket is not too stretched as it lays flat here and I'll let you know how long it takes to dry right, it's been about three hours and it's definitely dry so let's go see how it turned out all right this is after washing just checking it over I haven't lost any stitches nothing came unraveled there was my starting yarn came out a little i'm just gonna push it back through to hide it yeah everything turned out good there's the other end of my yarn just push that through there so yes this is the hobby lobby brand baby bee cuddly one that i made in my YouTube tutorial for the baby blanket. So I do recommend using the delicate cycle. Um, you definitely could use a garment bag that would protect it even more, but mine fared pretty well. Here's the back side. So yeah, but I, like I was saying, I did use the cuddly one yarn, which on the label says it's ma machine washable. Definitely check your yarn labels. You don't want to use, um, you don't want to wash a yarn that is not washable. The colors might bleed together or something like that, but I did use cold wash as well. So yeah, that's how it turned out.